And right now in my life, there's two things that's coming up, probably for a lot of you guys too. It's One is Mother's Day, and I will be making a DIY Mother's Day gift, so I'll post the link in the down bar. Um, but also, there is finals. So a lot of college students, including me, have finals coming up, and a lot of high school students do also. So sometimes finals week can just be like so, so stressful and so anxiety causing. So I am going to teach you how to make a final survival kit for your friends. You can either send it to your friends like I am to my friends who are away at other colleges, or you can just give it to your friends on the week before finals so that they have something that they're just like, oh, someone's thinking about me and I will have a little less anxiety knowing that someone's caring for me. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and that you use it and send it to your friends because I can promise you that it will be greatly appreciated and they will love it so much. Okay, let's get started. For this DIY, you can just go out and purchase some things that you know your friends will like. I got some spa masks as well as some gum, tea, and other snacks that they could have. And pencils and pens since it's finals. So I got this box at my local post office and it's a priority mail service box so it can ship regardless of weight for the same flat rate and this one's about $5. I prepped the box by taping the sides and then I'm just going to take some tissue paper and I'm going to line the inside which not only adds some color but also protects the stuff that I'm shipping from getting damaged in the shipping process. One of the first things that I purchased were these Nature Valley granola bars, which is awesome because if you haven't had any time to eat breakfast, you can just grab one of these and go before your test. And I just stuck those in there and sat them there so that they'll make a base for the box. I also bought these Simply Balanced fruit strips at Target in the flavor of pomegranate, and these are good because it adds some variety to our fuel in our box, as well as being a tasty snack that you can just stick in your backpack or your purse. And I purchased some gum because, let's be honest, we all need that and it was on sale. I also included these little ibuprofen tablet packages because sometimes if you stayed up late you get a headache. And then I included the Starbucks Very Berry Hibiscus Refreshers. These are made with green coffee beans so they actually have a little bit of caffeine. And it's nice that you can just throw it in a water bottle and make a Starbucks drink rather than standing in line forever to buy Starbucks. So I just included those because I love them. And then of course to study for exams you need your pens and pencils. So the pencils were 50 cents and the pens were a dollar at Target. So I decided to go with a green theme for this box because it matches the tissue paper. So all of my objects in this box are trying to be green themed and then I'm just going to take three pencils and use some twine to tie them up so they're not wiggling around and messing everything up. So I just tied them up and I placed them down in the box and I think it's really cute and super useful since we all need those pencils on those exams and scantrons. I also found a little sticky notepad in the dollar section at Target and it was really cute so I decided to include that because it's nice to have sticky notes when you're studying. And due to all the stress of finals, sometimes we girls can get breakouts, so I pulled out some Walgreens pour strips, and they were pretty cheap, and I put those in there, and then I went to Target, and I got this K Bella Deep Cleansing Aloe Vera Cream Mask, and I threw that in there as well, because it's nice to pamper yourself when you have all this stress. And then we're just going to close that up, um, and make it nice and presentable, and then we're going to be about ready to send it off. I wasn't the biggest fan of how the box looked so I decided to decorate it and I'm just going to use a piece of paper and a marker and do a little swirly detailing um, just to add some color and some pattern to the box so it's not just that priority mail label. And then I simply lined that up with the top of my box, cut it out with a paper cutter and decorated the top. And then I took another piece of paper and marked off where I needed to cut it. And I wanted to make that a little list of what was in the box so my friends would know um, what I included for them and stuff like that. I decided to break down everything into three categories, but of course you guys can do whatever you want. And then I used some double-sided sticky tape to attach that to the top of my box. And I felt like the right side looked kind of empty, so I decided to add some hearts but 
now we're done. So I'm just going to seal that off, close it, and send it to my friend. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you had a lot of fun making these for your friends. I definitely did have fun making this for my friend. Um, I think this is just awesome because it's really something that I would want to open in the mail myself. And um, I would love getting this right before finals. So I can promise you that your friends will love getting that in the mail. And that they will be super appreciative of what you've done for them and that you've thought of them. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below if you have any video suggestions or any thoughts um, on what I did here or in any of the other videos. And I will be sure to... Uh, reply to you in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe and then you can see my Mother's Day DIY that I will be posting soon. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. As I am doing, I'm sending it to my two friends who are away in colleges other way, other, other wares. That candle over there is burning ferociously and I'm scared it's just going to catch fire and melt. Oh well.